YouTube. Welcome to my shop. I'm Mike and I appreciate you stopping by. If you've seen uh, some of my uh, uh, recent videos, you know I'm in the middle of making a checkerboard, chessboard for uh, Christmas gifts. Um, now I've got a top, and, or excuse me, a top and a bottom and then I've got sides, four sides. And uh, on one of the sides I'm going to put a drawer. Okay, I've got, so I've got to cut a drawer. Now, it will be pocket screwed uh, to the bottom, okay? And um, uh, the drawer's got to be cut. I've got to make a cut this way, a ripped cut this way, but straighter. And then when I get that ripped cut, this bottom piece, I'm going to have to cut about whoops about here and about here now this will be the drawer okay now when I was ripping these uh, strips I ripped them at three inches every fourth one or four out of twelve I should have ripped to three and an eighth because when I rip this this way it's getting rid of an eighth of you know an eighth of the board an eighth of an inch of the board so when I glue these two these two pieces back to this one strip it'll be an eighth inch short and so will the drawer the drawer will be sloppy in there so I should have cut them an eighth inch thicker but I didn't I didn't think that far ahead so now I've got to make up the thing by cutting um, ripping strips uh, to to glue on the bottom and um, what I'm going to use for these uh, thin strips is the Rockler uh, thin rip table saw jig now I don't know if you've ever seen one of these but what you do is you just bring it up and you touch it to the blade now that's a zero cut then if you want an eighth you this goes eighth and sixteenth so I want an eighth and a sixteenth right there and then uh, you tighten that down a little bit not all the way and uh, I, I've measured this and it's, it's this is very accurate and then you bring it back you tighten it down you you bring the wood over and bring the sled over and then run it through and you'll have your eight and a sixteenth inch strip I need three of, or four, uh, well, yeah, I need four of them. So, let's get the ripping. <laughs> you yeah. know, for not thinking ahead, that really cost me. Because now I got extra rips to make and more sanding, this gluing. I guess that's what you get when you don't plan ahead. So I'm going to put this here. Oops. And uh, glue it on up. So we'll let that dry, I'll, I'll get a wet rag and wipe this clean and let this dry and then I can enjoy some more sanding that I didn't have to enjoy. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. We use the finest barley, malt, and hops grown in a... Okay, YouTube. What I thought I'd do right now is, since this is real straight edged, I thought I'd put a nice simple 3 8 inch round over on the top, leave the bottom of it nice and straight, but a nice, a nice round for the top side. So, I think I will let this be the top. Let's, uh, Let's round over.
Out in California, we're on a, or Southern California, we're on a two-day water. S this Saturday night, uh, my night to water. I don't think I'm going to have to water tonight. Looks like uh, Mother Nature's doing a way better job than I could. Let's get back to woodworking. Okay, YouTube. Moving right along. Uh, I've got all the sides sanded from 80, 120, 150, and uh, 180. And boy, uh, besides smooth and feel good. I also have the bottom, both sides sanded down to the same, 180, and I'm ready to put the sides, the sides on. Now I've got uh, marks. I'm going to put dowels in. Uh, in these things and I might as well do it now before I uh, before I uh, get going any farther on this but you can see where I dr drilled a hole and uh, gonna put a dowel in and then it will be it will be pocket screwed to the bottom and then I will put the top on it into those dowels. That's the plan anyway. Let's see if it goes. Okay. This drill press is measured to an eighth or one and an eighth inches deep. And I've got it marked where I want it to go. So we'll uh, get ready for the dowels right now. Okay, I've got two of these solid down, so now I've got just one more to do. Because uh, this this one, of course, is a eighth of an inch higher because I put the strip on top. When I cut it down, then it'll be three inches along with all the others. So I'm going to just do the three on all of these right now and then cut the fit. Yeah, I'm surprised to see the rain out here. It's a nice, uh, welcoming. I'm using uh, inch and a quarter pocket screws. Oh, perfecto, perfecto. Super duper. I'm going to have to get a clamp on this one.
Boy, I get pissed off at clamps that have glue problems dribbled on them. That's perfect. Not too much. I don't want Before I go in, I will split these uh, these drawers uh, out of out of the side. I'm going to uh, rip it one inch, and that'll give the drawer two inches, and then I'll I'll uh, cut it right there. I don't know if if any of you guys uh, are interested, but I'll tell you these. Uh, rulers that have a zero and go out on each way they are so nice you can put it on eight you know it's on eight over here so this is dead center i want the drawer 10 inches five inches and five inches it's just it's just a perfect uh just a perfect uh ruler at times so let's get uh get on this ripping on this thing I want to make sure I cut the top off because that's where the strip is and it, it'll be hidden if it's not uh, perfect. So I'm going to have to go like this because I need that. Okay, let's rip. This will be the top. And now I've got to cut the, the sides. And I want to take it right down the center of the line. So this will be how it goes. The top, whoops, top. I guess I, that'll be glued. That'll be glued. and then the drawer. Okay, got the pieces here. Gonna glue them up. Don't need that piece right now, but do need this.
That looks good. Well, YouTube, I started this uh, checkerboard Christmas uh, present in uh, middle of uh, November. And it was like 90 degrees. Now it's not even December yet. It's the end of November and it's raining out. It's cold and all weather. But uh, anyway, you can see I got the, these together. They'll just go right in here. Uh, the drawer like this and uh, so now all I got to do is uh, build the box or the, the drawer part for the uh, yeah the box for the drawer and uh, finish sanding up and cleaning up and uh, then we'll be ready for finish so next time the drawers I hope YouTube you can stop back on by and see how the whole thing came out because uh, we're we're getting real close to the end. It's uh, after the drawers and finish. It's it's ready for drying and then wrapping. So again, uh, YouTube, I appreciate you stopping by. I really do. And until next time, be well and take care.